Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Well, the feeders are quite slow right now. It's the middle of October and the, and the feeders are as slow as they should be right now and probably even slower than we've seen them in a long time. But that doesn't keep questions from coming in and people are starting to prepare for the winter season like they should. And one question that always needs addressing uh, every so often is uh, the subject of niger or slash thistle. So basically finch feeding is what I'm talking about today and hope we're going to uh, clarify what niger truly is. Uh, and, and here's a hint, it's not thistle. So, okay, the finches, the American goldfinch, pine siskins, uh, uh, common red poles, house finches, purple finches, uh, red crossbills. They, they're some of our favorite winter visitors at our, at our bird feeders. The, now, years ago, I was taught that really the, the official finch season, uh, per se, is more or less December, early December through July. Now, sometimes the finches will come back in, and a lot of people think finches are gone right now, they're, that they've migrated, but they haven't. All they've done is just move out into the fields where there's lots of weed seeds and for them to eat and they're heavy. We, we were seeing them uh, at our bird hike a week or so ago uh, down at English Landing Park with lots of uh, sunflower seeds, sunflower plants growing and the goldfinches were covering them. And goldfinches are in that transition right now. They're losing their bright yellow plumage. They're molting into their winter drab plumage so they can uh, survive better. You know, not a, an easy target whenever you're uh, drab olive as you were whenever you're bright yellow. So that's transitioning right now. But they'll be back into feeders before long. And so people want to know about feeding them. Um, and again, the question that a lot of people come up with is, is Niger really thistle? Because that's what it's been erroneously called for many, many years. Now, goldfinches will eat lots of kinds of seeds. You know, they do love the native thistle seed. We know what the thistle looks like, right? Native thistle seeds. They love, goldfinches do love that little seed head that's down in there. They're the white fluffy tops after the bloom is through, and then they get the white fluffy seed heads, kind of like a dandelion seed. They love dandelion seeds too. That The little tiny black seed at the end of that are some of their favorites in the wild. But they'll eat lots of weed seeds, and, they, and they'll eat... Uh, red maple seeds, the helicopter seeds that fall on there's lots of seeds that the goldfinches will like. But at your bird feeders, they'll eat. I had a, a gentleman tell me years ago uh, when we were talking about finch seed, he said, I don't want to bother with that. They'll eat, gold, they eat black oil sunflower just fine. And that's true. Goldfinches can crack open a black oil sunflower seed because it's nice and soft. You got a soft seed coat so they can crack it open. And it's got, it's high in oil and fat. So if you only want to feed black oil sunflower, I've always said, that is the single best seed you can feed to appeal to most birds in your yard, and goldfinches are one of those. A lot they, there are other seeds that get to your feeder they'll eat too, and that one of them is millet. Now I do not mix millet in my good seeds. The only place I feed millet is on the ground. The reason for that is if I, I have found over the years that if I mix even a small percentage of millet mixed in with like my boardwalk blend and my premium blends, then the sparrows will hoard that feeder, the, the house sparrows, the non-native sparrows. So over the years, I've just developed a technique and it works for me and that is just to throw the millet on the ground. Now, the goldfinches will be on the ground eating that millet from down there. They do like the seed, but in my yard, they what they tend to prefer over the black oil sunflower and over the millet are the sunflower kernels and the niger seed. I like to feed medium sunflower chips, so medium sunflower kernels, a little bit bigger, and I feed those in tube feeders with the round holes, the bigger round holes, and the goldfinches love it. And so do the house finches, and well, I don't, I'm not lucky enough to get red cross bill in my yard or red poles like Ruth does, but they, they'll eat this as well. And my other finch feeders mainly have the mixture. We call it black tie, but it's just a mixture of the fine sunflower chips and the niger seed. Let's talk about the truth about niger seed, okay? Niger seed is not native to this country. Uh, you know, we, we sometimes we get these stories like, well, I'll put some of that niger seed in my feeders, and that thistle grew up all over my yard. 
Well, those two are not the same plant, so they, they couldn't have come from the bag of bird seed. Niger seed is grown in, in countries like India and Ethiopia and, and, and that part of the world. It is their oil crop. They crush that little tiny seed like we do sunflower, we do oat corn, we do um, soybeans. Those are We crush for cooking oil. They crush that Niger seed for their cooking oil. It's a little tiny seed and, it, and so it is a major crop over in that part of the world. We imported into this country to sell at bird, for bird feeding. The, the thing is, when we import a seed, a plant from out of this country, into this country, there's always a concern over introducing something that may negatively impact our farmers and our ranchers. So what they have to do with every bit of that seed that comes into this country has to be sterilized. It's brought through the port of, in Baltimore where it goes through a process where they heat every bit of that seed to 500 degrees to kill the, the, the plants that are there. Now, I'm, I've learned years ago that it's not really targeted at the Niger seed they, they want to kill, they need to kill, but there's a weed that could be in that Niger seed, it's very small too, called doter, and that would be a major pest or major problem for farmers in this country if that ever got introduced. That's why every bit of this plant, the, 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 the seeds that you buy, have been heated to 500 degrees, so they're sterile. They can't germinate, so you can't get that sunflower, uh, the, that Niger to grow uh, after it's been heated that high. So Niger is not thistle. We cannot sell thistle in, in, in the bird feeding industry, uh, nor you know, do we need to, because they prefer, at least in my yard, the, the sunflower kernels, which is a native plant. It comes from the sunflower plants that we grow all over this country, especially up in the Dakotas and Kansas and states like that. Well, they just take the hull off that seed and chop it up into smaller pieces, and the goldfinches absolutely love it. A lot of people call the the black tie, we call it, but they call it, you know, the salt and pepper seed. You know, the, the pepper being the Niger and the salt being the, uh, the, the fine sunflower chips. And so they do love that. And the other thing is the sunflower chips are higher in oil, higher in fat. They're actually better for them than the Niger seed. Uh, back when I ran nature centers, we didn't even sell Niger seed uh, because they, it's not grown in this country and because sunflower chips are better for them. But the one advantage, the one advantage Niger has over sunflower chips is that squirrels and a lot of the non-desirable, less desirable birds like the house sparrows and stuff don't like the niger seed nearly as much as they like the sunflower chips. So you can hang out or safely hang out a niger feeder where the squirrels can get to it and generally not have any problems. Now every once in a while they may chew through it, I think just to be mean, but they don't like the niger seed. And so it's that and safflower you'll hear me talk about being a really good anti-squirrel and anti a less desirable bird uh, formula for you in your yard. So that's the one advantage that Niger has that I have ever seen on that. Now, it is messy. And I want to clarify that question because people go, well, I, I don't like that. Niger calls it black stuff all over the deck. I don't think they eat it. Well, they do eat it. They, they, the birds do eat it, and, and especially the goldfinches and the house finches. But what's deceiving is, even as tiny as that little niger seed is, half of that's a hull. They have to crack that seed open to get to the heart of it, and the excess falls to the ground. So you'll get that black on your, when it's snowing on the ground. You can see a lot of that black, and you get thinking they're not that they're wasting it. And the other part of being uh, dirty is that in the normal cleaning process for like sunflower seeds, they, the, the, these companies that really clean their seeds very well, they use air. They, they shake the seed up, they have things that agitates the seed, and they blow air across the sunflower seeds, and that blows away the empty hulls that, that, that the birds will know there's no food in. Well, the night are so small and so tiny, they can't use that technique. So there are empty holes in that bag of niger seed that they can't really do much about. So if you see them pulling out a niger seed and not eating it, it's not that maybe that they don't want it as much as they know there's not something in there worth eating and they throw it to the ground. So that's why niger tends to be a little messy, um, but believe it or not, it's half a hole. So finch season is coming. You want to be ready for it. Like I said, again, make sure your feeders are good and clean. Colder nights are coming. It's time to get those bird, heated bird baths good and cleaned up and, and ready to go. Um, 
thank you for the idea for the program. That's a good one. Uh, send in more if you will. Give us a like. Give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Until then, come by. Let's talk burgers.